Hey guys, what's up? It's Akila and I'm back with another episode of Growing Together with the Churches. If you are new here, please hit that subscribe button right now. Thank you. If you're not new, welcome back. And if everyone could just like this video right now, that would be greatly appreciated. And we're going to get straight into it. So we are finally back with London. It's been like four or five episodes, something like that, since we've played with London. Um, she has popped up in those episodes, but, you know, we weren't like in her home and like focusing on our focusing on her story so I'm super excited to be back while we were away London has been London has been grinding y'all London has been grinding and then the last video that I posted I asked you all to comment what you think she would be up to once we got back to her um and the answer is sis is about to buy a restaurant you know that's been our goal since we started playing um she's going to be buying a restaurant that's that's what she's been up to so she has been stacking her money and you know looking at real estate and things like that to purchase her first restaurant that that's what we're doing um i'm just looking through her social bunny hey london i invented a new card a, a new card excuse me am i crazy <laughs> i invented a new word plagiarism all of this happened zero minutes ago yeah this is a lot this is a lot it's not true okay all right so we're going to respond to all of that um we got our baby here. I think we're going to have to send her away. Because we got... Look at our little outfit, y'all. I gave her like... I don't know. what What is this? I gave her like two or three new outfits. But look at she's so cute. Hello. Hey. So, yeah. I don't know if I want to send her away or just have it like she just goes to daycare until we get back i think i'm gonna just let her go to daycare until we get back but yeah so we're about to buy a restaurant okay so i placed the restaurant here i just y'all i think windenburg might be my favorite like neighborhood in the sims and my it just looks so i just love it i don't know i don't know it just does something to me um and so i just like this little area like so there's this like like cafe bakery or something there's like a bar or something here this was a club but we don't need that we have clubs other places we're fine little library and i just think they needed a restaurant and so this restaurant it's a starter restaurant we're gonna change the name of it of course and it cost 24,427 simoleons and we're going to purchase it and we're going to get it furnished. <laughs> okay, so we have to transfer some money into our restaurant. We don't have much, but we're going to do like 4,000. Okay. And so you bought a new restaurant, now what? Owning a restaurant is hard work. Approximately 59.5% of new restaurants fail within the first year. However, with proper management, skilled employees, a delicious menu, and a little plasma sweat and tears, your restaurant might j just might succeed. Okay, so let me show y'all the restaurant because it's real cute. I hate that it's such a gloomy day. Like, are they trying to tell me something? Hold on. <clears throat> okay, let's get into this restaurant tour. It ain't much because it's small, but they have like a little bit of outdoor seating. And like this is just the area where the restaurant is. Excuse me. So like I said, there's other like businesses nearby. There's a little fountain out here. 
I don't know who put that um, easel there, but there's an easel. Um, and it's just really cute. Then right here, you have the, um, you know how you be walking by a bunch of restaurants and they have like the little menu sitting outside so you can look at it and see what, you know, what's on the menu if that's what you want to eat. They have that. Then you come in and this is like the little waiting area. Okay, it's not huge, but you know, it gets the job done. And then obviously the little waitress station, not waitress, hostess station. And then you come in here and you have your tables. So there's six tables total, two for two, two for four people and four for two people. Okay, then we have the little waitress little station. We have a unisex bathroom, just very, you know, that's it. Toilet sink, boom, and get out. You don't need to be playing around in there. And then of course the kitchen and that's it. That's the restaurant. <laughs> All right. But it's cute. At least I think so. Um, I got this from the gallery. Of course, uh, I got it. The person who made it is Player Hobbit. This is the restaurant I downloaded. There's also another version of it like this. It looks, is this the same one? No. What the heck did I just do? This one. Um, it kind of looks the same, but like the, it's, the tables look different. Um, I don't know what made me pick this one. I just, I just liked it. So that's what I went with. Okay. So with that, hello. All right. So we have, how do we set a menu? Yeah, I haven't played with this pack in so long. Okay. So we need to hire someone, first of all. I don't want to hire a chef. Can we just do, can we be a chef? Can we do it? I don't know. Um, we need a host. And the pickings are slim. <laughs> Um, uh, mm. I'm going to go with her and then for waiters, I'm going to go, oh, George look a little crazy though, but I'm about to hire George. Yes. And then. I don't know. I feel like we might need to have a chef. So I think I'm just going to order the chef as a order. Hire a chef as well. Um, I'm going to go with Faye because she's the most qualified. And. Yeah, everyone is neutral for right now. So I'll leave it at that. Okay, so we have staff. Now we need to get our restaurant settings. So we have a price markup of 125. I'm gonna do 150. Um, we are going to absolutely, absolutely purchase some advertisement. Um, but we have to be realistic. We don't have that much money. So I think I'm gonna just do the gold package. Um, and now let's go into our menu. Okay. So for drinks, we're going to go, okay, wait, what did they already have on it? I'm going to remove this and this. Um, we're going to do some sparkling water. I feel like it's fall, so we can add like the spice apple spice nog and some cocoa on there because it's, you know, it's, it's a little chilly outside um and then we need some stuff that is going to bring us more money so we can do this okay 
Okay, so we are going for the expensive stuff, but also like low level difficulty stuff. So $45 iced tea, absolutely. A glass of vodka, absolutely. Like water, for sure. 37, mm-hmm. Um, let's see what else we have. There's like a lot of low level. Let me see where does one stop. Okay. So one stops here. We're definitely going to add some wine. We don't need vodka and energy drink. Mm, I'm not big on beer. Martinis for sure. Yeah, maybe I'm putting too much stuff. All right, let me stop. I'm going to come back and like edit after. So we're going to leave that as the menu for now. All these high level things will have to like wait until we um, grow a little. I'm gonna add this in here too. Okay, yeah, I think that's good for drinks. Oh, wait, hold on. A glass of rose champagne for 142 simoleons? Absolutely. Mm hmm. Mm. Yep. Mm hmm. Y'all, this is so many drinks. Wait, I'm definitely going to have to come back. That's crazy. Okay. Okay. Let me see. Is that too much? No, that don't. That's not bad. That's like a good drink menu, right? No, that's not a lot. And if y'all think I'm tripping, let me know. <laughs> but I think this is like normal. Oh, maybe we, oh, we have iced tea. Maybe we need, hold on. Do we need like, let's do like a cream cola, a fruit punch, and a lemonade. Because we need, uh, oh, no. We need like non-alcoholic drinks. Okay. Boom. So that's it. That's the menu. For drinks at least. Okay. Appetizers. I don't know what kind of vibe I'm going for. Let's see what type of appetizers they have and then we'll we'll decide. Um All right, I could do butternut squash soup. I don't think we're going to do a poke bowl. Um I don't know what this is, but I feel like it fits the aesthetic that I'm I have in my mind, so I will leave it. We're not going to do a 5 out of 5. We're not going to do that. I don't even think we're going to do a 4 out of 4. Um, but salt and pepper cocktail, shrimp cocktail. Yes. Caviar crackers. Mm-hmm. 1 out of 5. For sure. Um, let's see what else we have that like. I feel like a salmon croquette is good. Um, popcorn shrimp just seems a little, a little childish. Now, if it's that fried shrimp, that's different, but um, not a string bean casserole, because that's what it's given. And let me go back to the top. To the top, top. Okay, we could do a breadstick. I feel like that's, you know, a little bread roll. Um, I feel like people like edamame. Mmm... I don't want to do too much bread. We could do a vegetable soup. Um, oh, I love a samosa. Oh, I love a samosa. Let's see what else. I don't know what some of this stuff is. Um, maybe some... No, I don't want that. Uh, I don't like plantains, fun fact. I think they... I don't know. I just don't like them. I am not a fan. Um, some of this stuff I feel like is more dessert, like a chocolate brownie and apple fritters. That's not dessert. Fried calamari for sure. Oh yeah. Fried cheese jalapeno poppers. Yep. Um, what else do we have? Ooh, elote. Mmm. Let's do. What else? What else? Uh. Why is it only faux bacon? Can we get some real bacon wrapped asparagus, please?
Mm. Fried jumbo shrimp. Absolutely. Um, a fried fish fillet. Like a whole fried fish. Oh, here's the prosciutto wrap. Oh, that's difficulty four. I have stopped looking at the difficulty. Oh, I'm going to take this off because it's five. That I'm not trying to set us up to fail. You know, I'm trying to make sure that we are being a Caesar salad. Absolutely. Like, get you a good Caesar salad. That'll do it. Mm-hmm. Um, anything else? I feel like people like clam chowder. I feel like that fits. We could do that. Um, and I think I'm going to leave it at that. I think we have th level three difficulty. Oh, we could do ceviche. I think we have level three difficulties and down. Um, so it should not be too difficult for our chef. Okay. So we're good on that. That's a good amount of appetizers. That's good. That's good. Okay. Main courses. I already know we about to have to take volcano pasta. No, I don't even know what this is, but I guess they can have it. This got to go by. This has to go. Okay. Uh, what is this? This has to go. All right, let's get in here. Let's see what they got. Mm -mm -mm -mm. We're not going to have chicken nuggies on the menu. I'm so sorry. Cup noodles, no. Spaghetti, mm. We're not, I'm not really trying to do breakfast stuff. Um, so that's why I'm like just ignoring it. But we could do fried fish. We can do, what the hell is a weed taco? Excuse me? I beg your pardon? <laughs> um butternut milky i like a little milky um we could do a veggie this it looks kind of like a pasta um what else black and bass oh no that's a level four we're not gonna do that uh curry i love curry mm-hmm this looks good we're not going to do pizza. Sweet and sour eggplant. That's a good veg vegetarian option. Uh, roast tofu chicken. We could do mac and cheese. I'll let them have some tofu chicken. Mmm. Pan fried tilapia, grilled chicken, pork adobo, pasta primavera, fish and chips. I like ramen. But I don't know if it fits. I'm going to take it off. Um, I sure wish I knew what some of this stuff was. <laughs> Ooh, I want to make this, but not four out of five difficulty. We'll have to spin the block on that one. Um, mm -mm -mm. Anything else? Beef Wellington is a level difficulty level level one out of five. Do not let Gordon Ramsay hear that. <laughs> Don't let him hear that. That sound a little crazy. Um, we'll do seafood chowder and fish tacos. We could oh no, not difficulty five. Absolutely not. There will be no tuna casserole. No. Fish dinner is too high. We could do a turkey. Ooh, rack of lamb. Mmm. We'll have to add some of this stuff. 
later on. We can add salmon. We can do hamburgers. Um, yeah, there's so many food options that they be having available. And these little restaurants don't be having none of them. Okay. And then, do I want to keep this? No. No. Anything else? We could do a lobster roll. Um, steamed salmon and fresh vegetables. That sounds good. And I think that's it. Okay. So those are our main courses. Okay. I wonder if it's like a thing where like you shouldn't add too many options. I'm not going to do too much for dessert. I think we're going to keep it real cute for dessert. Um, but let me go to the bottom. Because I feel like desserts, they'd be like having like no more than five on the menu, right? So I'm going to take off that blue cake, wherever it is. Um, I'm going to take that off. And I'm going to take off whatever else they have on there that I can't see. I don't know why. I don't know what that is. What's causing that? Oh, this. I'm going to take that off. Okay, because I want to be able to know what's on it. And I want to pick it myself. Period. Okay. So I love cheesecake, but it's too high. Premixed brownies just doesn't sound right. Um, this don't even have a name, so I don't even know what it is. Uh a butter scotchman cupcake. A lemon bar. I feel like that's cute. We could do a lemon bar. We can do. Oh, apple pie. That's too high. We could do apple fritters. We can do. No. All the stuff that I really want is like high level of difficulty. A bacon wrapped donut. That sounds good, but not for like dessert. Like I'm not trying to be in a restaurant. Like, oh, give me them bacon wrapped donuts. Like, no, no. I feel like I te you tend to go for like a cake. Oh, ah, five. Hmm. What else? I really don't want to give them pre-mixed brownie. <laughs> Let's do the caramel apple vanilla cake. Let's do the vertical berry cake. And let's do a black and white cake. That's it. Those are your dessert options. Take it or leave it. Okay. Menu is done. We have our gold packaging. We're going to have them. Oh, what is that? We're gonna, oh, excuse me. That's a not me for that to happen, y'all. Okay, and then for dress code, they can wear their every day. They don't have to get all fancy for this. Okay, and so I think, I think we're good. I think that's all we needed to do. So now, I am going to open our restaurant. Oh, Lexi acquired the potty skill. That's so beautiful. Oh, hey, Dad. Are you just jogging? Okay. He just trying to check in. He's like, oh, I'm going to just run by the restaurant. I'm going to just see how. I'm going to just check it out, see how things are going. You know, don't, don't, don't worry about it. Okay. All right, so all of our staff are here. Let's try to talk to them before the day. Um, let's praise him before he even starts his work day. You know. Let's praise her before she starts her work day. George said, wonderful. I try to be a model employee and it looks like my effort is paying off. 
All right, we got celebrities pulling up. Oh, they not, y'all. Am I crazy? That's their waiting, waiting for the restaurant. Okay. Hey, sir. Hello. Welcome in. Welcome, welcome. Welcome, everyone. Welcome, welcome. I wish y'all would sit down for real, for real, because y'all making it look cluttered and it's going to stress me out. Everyone just have a dang seat, please. Okay, so everybody has good thoughts and opinions on the restaurant so far. All this attention. Yes, of course. I'm going to give y'all all the attention. Okay, I'm not going to check on them yet. It's too soon. George, what is wrong with you? Why are you running around like that? All right. All right. All right. All right. Jo is he paranoid? What's wrong with him? Sir, are you going to go sit down? I would appreciate nothing more. Oh my God, he is paranoid. Look at him. Oh, we're going to have to fire him. Because he about to stress me out. Oh, we got fours at this table. Hold on. Hey. Oh, wait. No, what happened? What's wrong? Wait, we friendly, girl. What's the problem? Oh. Let's go check on her table. Wait, what's the matter? Let's go check on these tables where the people. Did he not wash his hands after he left the bathroom? Where the people. Y'all, I don't think he washed his hand. I'm going to have to go back and watch the camera. Oh. Oh, okay. My bad. I mean, but it's normal. What's she? Okay, we're going to get her some more training. Because she's not going to be messing up our... But... Look, that sparkling water, quality. Mwah, top tier. Top tier cream cola. Don't play with her. Oh, he George just washed his hands. I just need to know if he washed his hands after he left that bathroom. Like before, well, before he left the bathroom. I'm going to have to check. Okay. All right. So we got some normal. Oh, hold on. Because the bread roll. Mwah, exquisite. All right. The grilled chicken. Mwah, phenomenal. Don't play with this. Let's come over here and check on this table because it's the only table we haven't checked on. Okay, let's come over here. Let's prioritize their food since they're the only other people that aren't eating. <laughs> okay, because and this is the only table also where we don't have a four. Everyone else is enjoying themselves. Okay, all right. Your food will be out before you can say gastronomy well i said it oh we got a five from the little kid hold on thank you all so much i hope you all had a phenomenal time here at the this girl brushing her teeth london you're about to get me tight you're about to get me tight go over here and clean up because i don't know what george doing
Girl, clean up everything. Y'all, where's my sis food at? Oh, there it is. Okay. Great. Wonderful. Let's see. Fish tacos. Excellent. Pan fried tilapia. Bussin. Fruit punch. Phenomenal. Glass of wine. Le Monte. Look. Come on. Come on. Don't play with them. Do not. Oh, you're not giving free nothing. Where y'all going? Um, hello. Let's go welcome these people because they coming in upset. And I don't like that. Okay. All right. Welcome all. Welcome. Hello. Thank you. I'm glad those threes turned into twos. Turn those frowns upside down. Thank you. Thank you so much. What's wrong with you? Okay. Eat y'all food. There's nothing going. Y'all are okay. What she said? Wow. Take a look at this amazing meal. Exactly. Exactly. All right. We're not giving free nothing else. So y'all going to have to fix that. Y'all gonna have to figure that one out on your own. She just don't have nothing else to do. So she just... She just... She don't know what else to do with herself. I wish there was a way that we could do stuff like we could take orders and we could um, like bring out the food but whatever since we can't we'll just stand around it's a lot of money moves being made We have made 671 simoleons. 991 simoleons. Let me see. We got some normal, 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 excellent, normal. Okay. Excellent curry chicken. So I'm sorry. The pregnant lady didn't get no food. She didn't order nothing. Ma'am, are you not hungry? All right, let's come over here and check up on the table since they've gotten their food. Like, is everything to your liking? Are you enjoying it? Oh, the curry hot, baby. Oh. Okay, all right now. Don't stand there over them now. Go clean this up. She like, oh, this shit hot, but it's bussing. She tore that curry up as she should. Ma'am, are you gonna drink your drink? Okay, you didn't want to drink your drink? Alright, let's welcome them in because they be coming in hot. Like, what is the matter? What's wrong? Look at our, um, could have been mother-in-law over there. Yes, with the helmet. Safety first. Is she gonna drink this drink? I'm just I'm asking for myself. Thank 
Who's this? Oh. Okay. She has brushed her teeth like 10 times. I don't know if y'all know this. I can't believe she... Did, is she waiting for food? I really hope not. Because my sis' food should have been out first. Do you hear what I'm saying? Did we already welcome these people? We did. Okay. Yeah, I think we're going to close soon. Because I feel like we opened around like, what, 10? And it's 5. And I don't want to overwork my people. So let's do... Disallow new customers. That way no one else will come. And we can close. We can close the restaurant. Um, let's manage. Let's. Oh, no. Okay. Who have we not welcomed? Let's welcome this woman. I don't know why these people are still here. I'm, I'm, I need y'all to get up and leave. Let's come over here. Let's prioritize these people's food. Oh, look. They're going to be like, oh, my God, you move so fast. You just said you were prioritizing our food, and boom, look at it. There it is. And it is. I really wish this, this group would leave. They are stressing me out so bad. Because why y'all still here? Uh, she getting a little hungry. Can she herself order some food? <laughs> Imagine. Y'all are done. Okay, bye. Oh, no, y'all just got here. Y'all are not done. Y'all just, okay. Alright, they're getting their orders. They're putting their orders in. Let's come over here. Let's uh, check up on the table. Let's prioritize their food. Yes, our rating has increased from two to from two to five, from one to two. All right, these people are gone. Let's come over here and clean up their area. Can y'all? I'm so sorry. I just don't understand why y'all are still sitting here. Like, are you waiting on something? No, y'all not waiting on food. Like, what? All right, our last table is getting their food. Great. Nine hundred and six. What the? F what they bought? An excellent lobster roll. A normal pasta primavera. A normal glass of dry champagne with strawberries times two. Oh, my goodness. Okay. All right. All right now. I'll pay for the training tomorrow. I feel like they was here all day and she gonna be like, oh, all right. So I worked 55 hours. Do I need to drink they drink for her to go home? Let me just try it, y'all. Cause at this point, <laughs> I don't know what else it's gonna take. We just gonna drink her drink. And we're gonna see what happens. Because maybe once the drink is done, then they can leave. Come over here while you drink her drink. Don't drink it in her face. That's rude. 
Mm-hmm. Okay. Let's see if that gets them if that gets them moving. Cause there's nothing else we could do for y'all. You know? And I'm not giving nothing for free. Cause we gave y'all good service. So I really just need y'all to leave. Girl, eat this lobster roll. I wish we could send our people home. Like, oh, are they leaving? No. Okay. All right, y'all. Well, I tried. I'm going to have to close the restaurant now. Thank you all. Okay. So we made a total of 2,819 simoleons. Um, the cost of our ingredients was 1,129 simoleons. We profited from our meals 1,690 simoleons. Um, and payment to our staff that was 220 simoleons and advertising cost was 111 simoleons for a total net profit of 1,358 simoleons um, customer reviews our meal value is excellent which means we need to raise our prices <laughs> um, our meal quality is where we can we have room to grow and our service I think that is nonsense and shenanigans but I hear you um, her skills went up I'm wondering if we should promote her um but they all feel neutral about their positions and again our stars went from one to two so oops i probably do need to save my game but i feel like that was successful i feel like that was a successful day um so i have to remember since i closed the restaurant i have to remember i guess to promote her the next time all right let's clean up before we leave and then we're gonna go home i think that was good i think that was very good and very successful but y'all can tell me what y'all think we gotta go get our baby she's feeling flirty The drink was disappointing. Hold on. <laughs> All right. She feeling flirty. So I feel like she's going to go. Knock on. The door. Of our neighbor. She's feeling flirty and she's a bit tipsy. So, yeah. She's going to go knock on the door. Look at sis. She is so ready. Let's eavesdrop. Where you going? Come back upstairs. He's in there. Y'all, his kids are never here. Like, where's your toddler at? At 10 o'clock at night on a Monday. All right, let's knock on the door. Um, oh, baby, a challenge. Is it really that crazy to dream of having an expansive family? Listen, I'm not a horrible person to want to have children with different par with different partners. I can name at least five other Sims that have done it. I raised those kids. I'd raise those kids right and make sure they don't grow up too fast. I'd have plenty of parental help to go around. Two. Sure, juggling multiple relationships in various stages sounds overwhelming, but I've never been one to stray from a challenge. 
Y'all, this guy just keeps tossing red flags at my face. Because what do you mean you want to have multiple children with multiple partners? Like, I beg your pardon? Oh, here's his kids. <laughs> Y'all, look. Wait, let's have her. I don't know why she's not teleporting, but. Um, let's. Shit, let's confront him about a secret, his secret. I don't care. Now that the secret is known, London can choose to inform Davion that she will hold on to the secret forever or blackmail him to keep the secret for cold, hard simoleons. We don't care that much. First kiss. Well, that escalated quickly. Let's discuss some interest. Um, let's. We're not going to tell his secret. I don't. He wants to have children. That's the secret. Like that secret is stupid. That's a stupid secret. <laughs> so we will not be sharing that secret with anyone. Um, but let's discuss it more. Like, let's really get into it. Let's really, because you want to expand your family. He definitely wants children. But I just want us to talk more about it. Like. You want to, this is like, <laughs> I really value the time we spend together. I think it's made us closer than ever. I'm glad you brought this up, London. I've been thinking the same. Let me ponder on the thought for a short while and I'll give it, oh, wait. I like having children. Oh, so let me be very clear. Um, We don't want to expand a family with you. I was talking about you expanding your own family mm. all right cool very cool um My baby has been fighting for her life to get upstairs. Girl, transport over here now. Teleport here. Okay. And now, talk to stranger. This baby bad. Don't do what she doing. Because I have to beat you. But wait, look at them, little friends. Yeah, I feel like this is really the first time we've seen his daughter on this um series. So here she is, Delilah. She look a little funny. She look a little funny. I'm not gonna let me back up. <laughs> let me back up. She look a little funny. Girl, get off this man computer. Stop playing with me. Get off of his computer. Um, talk about cool temperatures. Um, they have some sentiments. Mm. 
Mm -hmm. Ask to be woo woo partners goes crazy. Um, let's hug him. Is she still tipsy? Yeah, she's still a little tipsy. Is she still feeling a little flirty? My sis, I forgot she was hungry. But I feel like it's been a while since she had a little fun. So she just like, well, he right upstairs. Like, let me just ask him if he's single again. Because last time we asked him if he was single, we found out that he was married. Y'all remember that? Y'all remember when he was married and nobody told him to do that? Nobody told him to be married. Somebody is blowing me up. Y'all, they just had their first kiss. I should have been zoomed in, but. Can they go? I ain't finished his bedroom. So I'm the most ghetto individual on this earth. Because I remember that I had like been working on his room. I'm going to have to change it though. Because that's the same bed that I just gave London. And I just feel like that's weird. And I was also putting him a ba a bathroom down here. Because there's only one bathroom in the house. And that's upstairs. And I feel like that should be for the kids. Well look. He got what he need. That's really all he needs. So. Oh. Did she just kick her? Wait. Y'all. Y'all. Did this little girl kick my baby? Uh-uh. That's it. Go upstairs. Go in the house. She need a beating. Oh, she can't go in the house yet because we not home. All right. Well, go to the door and you sit there and you wait for us because <laughs> that is crazy. We coming just now. Mommy just got some things that she need to take care of. Okay. She like, oh, this is, oh, this is your room? Oh, okay. Look at her little pajamas. I gave her new pajamas. They cute. All right, anyway, I'm glad to see that he's using some sort of protection. That makes me very happy. How do I, I don't even have to, oh. Oh, baby, don't go upstairs. <laughs> do not go upstairs. Come back downstairs, actually. Come back here. Mm-hmm. Meanwhile, the son is like, mm, I'm going to bed. I got school in the morning. Y'all have a good time. He sleep. Oh, I teleported her and not the kid. So did she just teleport out his bed? Wait, what? Hello? Child, go home. My poor baby. We gonna bring you home in a second. All right, sis is finally back home. It's been a long day. She should have food in here. Yeah, not a watermelon salad and not that. Some faux meat and chips sounds disgusting, but that's what you have. <laughs> Those are your options. Where's my child at? Oh, uh, let me put this food out, baby. Come get you some faux meat and chips, too. Or you want a watermelon salad? You probably could eat a watermelon salad. Go eat that. She needs her diaper change, it looks like. 
Look at my sis. Let's see how she feeling now. First kiss. Oh, that, that was not your first. London, you have a child. And it wasn't no science baby. So I want you to be freaking for real. She's sobering up. Her energy is low. It doesn't say anything about how she felt about the... Oh, I guess because it's her... That's telling me that it's her first one. Okay. Okay. Whatever. Tell me anything, Sims. Tell me. We're not taking a pregnancy test. And I'm going to tell you why. Because she's not pregnant. And I know she's not pregnant because... Where did it go? I thought it said something about protection. Well, I know she's not pregnant because she used protection. So we're not taking a pregnancy test. There won't be any of that. Does she have a position on how she feels about having any more children? She's neutral. AKA, she don't want no more. <laughs> she does not want any more children. All right, we need to change her diaper. Girl, where is you going? Change this baby diaper because she stinks. And then put her, read her to sleep. Okay. All right. I mean, if that's what y'all telling me that their family dynamic is, I'm going to listen. She says stinky noobo. And that's for sure. Y'all, why is this not, is this on the wall? Oh, it is kind of on the wall. Okay. Put our baby to sleep at four o'clock in the morning. Yes, we are. Because her is asleep. Look at her little pajamas, y'all. Please. How freaking cute. Girl, get, get in the bed. Yeah, where you was going? She's so cute. Mm-hmm. Y'all, honestly, I'm about to end it right here on this note. This episode was very successful. London has finally gotten to where she wanted to be. She has purchased her restaurant. She ran it for one day. Things went well. She made a profit. Okay? So, the only way here from... What? The only... um, <laughs> The only way to go from here is up. Okay? Like, that's it. There's no other option. And that's where she's headed. She's headed up. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please drop a comment below. Let me know what you liked, what you didn't like, what you want to see in the future. And I'll see you guys in the next one. <laughs> Bye.